Welcome to the library's very first podcast episode. We hope to provide you with a few minutes of connection with your librarians, where they can share advice, tips and motivation while you're working at home. Today's episode features Natural and Agricultural Sciences Librarians Kehl Buti and Khadi Moshotloa, Neville Alexander Campus Librarian Leander Kutzer, and Humanities Librarian Runit Frey. Good day, students. We are your NAS faculty librarians, Kecho Puti and Khadi Moshotloa. As you know, we are facing unprecedented times due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We would like to let you know that we are still available to meet your information needs. You are welcome to contact us on our emails via our libguide at ufs.libguides.com. The LibGuides also contain training videos on databases, journals, and our online catalogue known as CovCCAT. The videos are also accompanied by links that will take you directly to the resources discussed in the videos. You can also access the LibGuides on your Blackboard homepage under Library Guide NAS. Please feel free to contact us with your information needs. We are here for you. Stay safe. Dear South Campus student, this is Leanda speaking, your campus librarian, and from the library staff, which includes myself, Charles, Oense, and Takelani, I hope you are still all doing well. And I just want to give you a few tips during this exceptional times that we are experiencing. You might feel lonely at this stage, but please remember, the librarians are still working from home. We are on our posts and we are all ready to serve you. I can give you my email address quickly again. It's Leanda, L I. A N D A at ufs.ac.za. So if you need anything, please do not hesitate to send me an email. I will attend to your needs as soon as possible. Then just one or two tips while we are isolated during these times. Very important, stick to normal hours. I've spoken to so many friends and some colleagues and students that turn their day and nights around, that they are sleeping throughout the day and now during the evenings they're watching movies and they go to bed at five or six o'clock in the the morning and then they sleep till two o'clock don't do that stick to your normal hours get up when you would get up at seven sleep an hour later or so but keep to your routine set out a time for you to work on your studies and set up rules with the people in your space. Tell them that between nine and say four o'clock, you will be busy with your studies. They must not interrupt you. Then you are focusing on your studies. So just lay down basic rules that they know you are not rude, but you are attending to your studies. Also schedule breaks. Remember, um, you can concentrate for 45 minutes or so to an hour. Then you take a small break for 15 minutes, talk to the, the people in your space, and then you go back to your studies. It's very important to get some fresh air, so leave the house now and then, um, not meaning going to the malls and go shopping, we still need to abide by the rules, but just go outside, breathe in some fresh air, then you go sit down and you'll focus on your studies again. And as I said, the librarians are still on their posts, we are connected electronically, we are connected through our emails, online chats, etc. So please do not hesitate to send me an email if you need help. If you just want to say hi, how are you doing, you're more than welcome to do that as well. In this isolated times, we tend to want to reach out to other people just to know that everybody is fine and everything is still fine and there's still a routine to keep. Now, keep well, stay home, stay safe. This is your campus librarian, Leanda, wishing you a very lovely day. Dear student of the Faculty of Education, I hope you are all well. Uh, this is your faculty librarian, Runet Frey. Please remember that I am still working from home. So if you need any assistance, my email is runet, R-O-N-E-T, at ufs.ac.za. Please remember that my services and my assistance are still a finger click away. Um, and don't hesitate to make use of that. I hope you stay safe. I hope you're at home. And please remember to exercise, 
get fresh air and stick to some sort of a routine. From me, be safe, be good.